This is an Ellis Mowers and More product review. Interested in buying this product? The link is in the description below. Have a product inquiry or a home, garden, or automotive product or tool to review? Email me, ellis at ellismowers.com, or reach out on Instagram and Facebook at Ellis Mowers and More. And as always, like and subscribe for more product reviews and small engine content. On today's review, we're going to be reviewing a product from Suncoast. It is their infrared sunshine electric heater. Pretty interesting product. It doesn't use any fans or any forced air or anything of that nature, which means you don't have any noise, but you still get the heat, which is good. There are pros and cons to it. Uh, forced air allows the heat to be dispersed a little bit better. The heat on this seems to be kind of just right there, but it will cover up to nine square meters of space comfortably. So if you're looking for a noiseless heater to heat up your space, this may be a good option for you. What it does come with, it comes with a heater with a nice little carry handle, a couple of feet that you just pop in the bottom, then it comes with the remote. The remote does not come with a battery from what I could tell in the box. It's a CR2025 battery, like a watch battery. And it has your features of like fan speed up and down. You have sleep mode, different modes, and you can turn the display on and off with it as well. So to get started, I'll uh, show you some of the modes on this machine. So Suncoast calls this sun-like heating. You know, a lot of electrical, electric heat feels artificial. They want this to feel like the sun is heating you up. It's got three modes. We'll turn the heater on with the remote here. And it comes on, has nice little animations and stuff. It says, hi, P3. It only takes three seconds to warm up fully and completely. And you can feel that. I mean, it is pretty instant, so that's pretty powerful. And you have your other mode. You can knock it down to two. So P3 is 1,500 watts. P2 is 1,050 watts. And P1 is 750 watts. So you got three different types of heating here, uh, depending on your speed and whatnot. Again, this can be controlled by Alexa as well, and you have a, an app as well, which we will demonstrate. A couple other things before we get into the app. You have two different modes here. One is focused heating mode, is what they call it. That is your P1, P2, and P3. Now, when you hit the M button, either down on the machine or on the remote, it changes from focus heating mode to space heating mode. And what that does, it goes into eco mode and gives you a temperature. And you can go, you know, do you want to go to 68 degrees? Do you want to cook it up to 74? Something along those lines. You can do that in eco mode. And that is more of a space heating mode to where it feels like the heat comes a little bit out a little bit more as opposed to just rising up. So that's fairly interesting. Uh, again, the light button will turn off your display, especially if you don't want the light on at night. It dims everything. So that's really nice to have as well. So we have the Smart Life app is the app that's supported by the Suncoast heater here. You see I have a couple of devices on there already. We have to hit the M button down here. And that home icon will start flashing. You go up to the top after you sign in and register. Hit add device. It's going to search for devices. It's going to discover device. And then you hit the add button for that. And the device is now being added to uh, the phone. And then we'll control using the app here in just a second once it finishes itself being added. Hopefully I can see this 
a little bit, but your app is going to show you uh, the current temperature, what type of mode you have it on, space heat, focused heat. So we have it on space heat now. If we hit focused heat, it'll go to three. You can go, you know, two and one. And then if we go back to space heat, you can, you know, range up your temperature to whatever temperature that you would like. Like I said, we've got it on 74 right now. And then once it reaches that temperature, you know, it'll cycle on and off. That's why they call it eco mode. You have a child lock on here. When you hit that child lock, you cannot change any of the display items either on the app or on the heater itself. And we'll take that off. And then next thing we have sleep mode. That's where you turn, uh, that's where it turns the, the display and stuff off so that you don't have to see that. And then you can go in and set timers anywhere between one hour and 12 hours and it'll shut off after that certain amount of time. So very useful app. You just have to have this controlled in the app in order to be able to do this. Again, if you have Alexa, you can say Alexa, turn on Suncos heater and it will do its thing. I don't have Alexa in the house, but that's a really cool thing to demonstrate because you'll say something along the lines of Alexa, turn off Suncos heater and it'll turn itself off. So it'll be just like that. Turn on and off. You have app control, Alexa control. It's great. And the heat, honestly, is pretty good as well. I was kind of, I'm kind of surprised at that, considering that there is no fan or really anything forcing it outward from the heater. So here we have the heater in the living room here, or the den. Decent sized area. When you're, whenever you have this heater in a large area like this. You know, a lot of times you're going to be sitting down and whatnot. The best thing to do here is to place it near where you're sitting so that you can actually feel the warmth. Uh, again, we're talking about nine square meters of coverage. So if you have a room that's larger than that, you just want to place it closer to where you are so that you can feel the heat more. Um, so we'll go into the bedroom next. So here in the bedroom, you know, you can kind of stick it in the corner. It kind of goes well aesthetically and it's not really out of place. And then you turn it on. You can allow everything to heat up in the, in the room. It heats right up. Again, if you use the space heater eco mode with the temperature, that helps distribute heat a little bit better and a little bit more effectively. So keep that in mind. Uh, this is going to work better in a bedroom like this because it is a smaller space than a living room or a den. And especially if, like if you leave your door closed at night and want to put it in eco mode and want to have it kind of warm in the room on a cold night and save a little bit on your heating, then this may be a good option for you. Again, you can't really feel the heat until you get about... right here so it will take a little bit of time to warm up an area like a large bedroom but if you have a small bedroom or ideally you can even stick this in a bathroom to keep it warm a lot of people do that then that would be a great idea if you have it in the area like if you're sitting around the dining room table the kitchen table and want to have a certain area of a room warm where you're spending a lot of your time, then this probably would work really well. Again, all the features and the remote and everything is really nice as well. So to wrap everything up here, again, this is a good device. Again, you're not going to have any noise, any wind or fans that you have to deal with, and it means you don't, you're not stirring up uh, pet hair and dust and all that stuff that inevitably is going to be in your house. Again, with no wind, 
All you get is the radiant heat. You can see the tissue moving just a little bit, but again, that's just the radiant heat and the air being disturbed by that. It's not being aided by a fan, which helps make it not feel artificial like a lot of space heaters could do that are that have a fan. This I think does fit their marketing perspective by providing sunny warmth. It does feel more like natural sunlight heat as opposed to like just forced heat. Again without fans it is going to take a little bit of time for the heat to penetrate throughout the room. That would be the only negative about it but a lot of positives associated with this as well with the app control, with the Alexa control, with the nice display, the aesthetic look, the grab handle to be able to carry it around fairly easily. The feet, I do want to note that like if you tip it over, I guess there's some sort of sensor in it that cut it off automatically. So that's good if you do tip it over. Uh, so it's got all the safeties and everything associated with it as well. Great heater. Probably throw this in my shop or garage or small space to use it there. But I appreciate y'all watching this video. And thank you Suncoast for letting me try this heater out. It's a little bit of a different approach to a regular, uh, you know, forced air space here and uh, does a pretty good job overall, especially for smaller rooms like bedrooms, bathrooms, or more concentrated areas that you want to be in. Thanks for watching this product review, and I will catch you on the next one.